it's Natasha again. I'm back this week with the first topic for the channel, which is what are you really worth? What I do on a daily basis? Do I do those things from a place of self-worth, from a place of self-respect for myself and others? Um, so that's what I've been really trying to focus on this week. And, you know, this idea came to me from reading Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. It's such a good book. I'm about halfway through it at this point. Um, I hope to finish it this weekend. What she talked about as being self-worth, if I can find it, I thought I marked it, was, and I'll read a little expert, excerpt from there and then we can just, I can talk about it from that point. She says in the book, and I quote, when we spend a lifetime trying to distance ourselves from the parts of our lives that don't fit with who we think they're supposed to be, we stand outside of our story and hustle for our worthiness by constantly performing, perfecting, pleasing, and proving our self-worthiness, that critical piece, that critical important piece that gives us access to love and belonging lives inside our story. The greatest challenge for most of us is believing that we are worthy now, right this minute. Worthiness doesn't have prerequisites. So many of us have, so many have knowingly created slash unknowingly allowed been handed down a long list of worthiness prerequisites. Like, I'll be worthy when I lose 20 pounds. I'll be worthy if I can get pregnant. I'll be worthy if I can get sober. And the list goes on and on. But here's what is truly at the heart of wholeheartedness. You're worthy now. Not if, not when. We are worthy of love and belonging now, right in this minute, as is. And, you know, after reading that, it really struck a chord with me because, you know, I think I am just as guilty as many of us of thinking, oh, you know, I'm not good enough until I've lost some weight. I'm not good enough until I've you know, finished college until I've gotten that good paying job until I get the house until, but you know, what I've realized in life is that a lot of times, even when you do get to that point, it's like, oh, okay, now it's the next thing. It's like, when do you stop and say, I'm going to enjoy the moment right as it is, whether I have everything that I've ever wanted or not, because, you know, it's a, it's a constant it's a constant climb to the top. You climb one mountain, you see the next mountain top. So you get down that one and you climb up the next one. And, you know, in in our pursuit of doing that, we tie our worthiness to that. I've started saying to myself this week and writing it on my mirror every day is, I'm worthy because I'm here. I'm worthy because I was born. I'm worthy because I exist. They should not be any prerequisites beyond that. There should not be any qualifications for my worthiness. And, you know, when I start to think in that vein, I, tr I approach life differently. A um, good example is, you know, at work when I have so much stuff going on and I think, oh, you know, yeah, I can take on that extra project. No, I can't. I have to set a boundary with that and say, I'm going to, this is more than enough on my table right now. And at this point, it's enough because when I can break apart my worthiness to my actions, I'm able to act from a place where it's more self-caring, more self-fulfilling rather than, you know, just fighting and trying to prove and perfect myself. So I feel like I'm worthy because we are born because we exist. Like we breathe in and out every single day and that's all that matters. Um, and this type of worth is like intrinsic. It's, it's, um, it's not something that's really quantifiable, but when we start to tell ourselves, you know, I'm worthy because I was born, like, I don't have to qualify anything, then we can start to live our lives much happier. Because I can tell you, I've been more, I've been happier. I've been seeking less validation. I've I've actually lost weight too. That's the other update that I wanted to give you. I lost five, six, five and a half pounds this week. So I'm excited about that. Um, I don't feel like it makes me a better person, but I do feel 
that I'm finally going towards my goal. So 35, 40 more pounds left. What does self-worth in practice look like? It means self-care, self-compassion, self-kindness, compassionate self-talk. Like self-talk is like a video on its own because I think the way we talk to ourselves is is the is so bad at times that we wouldn't the way we talk to ourselves I'm trying to articulate this right the way we talk to ourselves is so damaging at times and it's in a manner that we would never ever think of talking to another human being so why would we treat ourselves that way why would we constantly put ourselves down and feel guilty and feel just broken down but that practice of doing that is realizing that one we can stop thinking that way and two we can just start filling ourselves with like positive self-talk even if you don't really feel it this is a topic that you know i could go on and on and about but i would say a good place to start is right here and this was a perfect book for me because like i said I have been guilty of being a perfectionist. It's a book by Brene Brown. It was on Super Soul Sunday. And she is pretty awesome. I will put a link below to Amazon. I think that's the one that has the lowest price. And get the book, read it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And this week, just keep in mind, like, how can I keep reminding myself that I am worthy because I, I was born. I don't have to prove that to anyone or even to myself. I just have to remember. I Because I exist, I am worthy. Anyway, I hope you all have a great week. Just stay focused on progress instead of perfection. And little by little, life changes by our daily goals no matter how small they are even if it means instead of guilting guilt tripping yourself you go oh you know what i did pretty good it wasn't the greatest i could do but just those little self-encouraging thoughts increase our self-worth our feeling of self-worth our self-worth is intrinsic it's just our thought about it that um oftentimes affects us so anyway i hope you all have a good week and remember to always make it a great day. Bye.